Hi! Welcome to The Witcher 3. We're doing a deadly plot. This mission has a bit of a bug. So I thought I would uh, run through how I got around it. Um, it's a level 14 quest. I was just looking at it, but I can't remember already. Anyway, it's up in Novigrad by St. Gregory's Bridge. So head up there and you need to go to the Passiflora Brothel, uh, which is in the nice part. So find a fast travel point. There's one. And head up there. Boom. And I just got an SSD, so things are running pretty fast. Uh, anyway, head in here and you'll see the madam, uh, the madame, madam, here. And this is where the marker points, but weirdly, it's not actually where you need to be. Meet Digstra, Dykstra, I don't know, Siggy, anyway, uh, in here. So you want to head into this side room, which is directly behind her, and up into this changing room where you'll see a uh, strumpet brushing her hair, courtesan. <laughs> and the madame will kick in there. Once you've done that, uh, you'll be back where she originally spawned, which is weird. Follow her back into that room. She might take a second to come through. Uh, she got a bit stuck. But follow her through there, and she'll open a secret passage. Up the secret passage, up the first flight of stairs, and you'll see a dude guarding almost nothing. There we are. Weird guy. And up here for a cutscene, where you'll meet Siggy, and Roche will come out as well. Roche? Roach? Roche? Whatever. Uh, there he is. There, Vernon. Uh, don't forget to have a look around up here, there's some pretty decent stuff to loot, I mean mostly food, but um, no spoons as far as I could tell, which was nice. Uh, there's a candelabrum in there. Um, but then I headed off to Oxenfurt just to do some crafting, I'd got some new diagrams I needed to deal with. And then you'll see there, uh, just south of Novigrad to Border Post, if you head there, uh, this should be unlocked. For you. You'll have had to come through here to get to Novigrad, I think. And then you'll meet the uh, guy in Siggy's employ. It will give you information about the cobbler. Uh, the shoemaker's wagon. That's just directly south, so you can head south if you want, but across the bridge you can't ride your horse, I think. Um, so I ended up fast travelling down to Hangman's Tree and then coming north just because it was a bit quicker. And you'll find the uh, cobbler's van, van? Truck? Wagon there with a little bit of looting to be had nearby. Watch out for dogs. Um, they're going to be pretty low level if you're doing it. This is an appropriate level so it shouldn't be a problem but I still managed to get bit by one. Uh, um, but they don't do a lot of damage. I used Quen in the end should have used uh, Igni. Fire's good against dogs because they've got fur. Anyway, fire up your Witcher senses there. There we are. And uh, have a little look around. That's it. Follow the trail of shoes and you'll come to a rock troll called Og or Pog or Yog or Yor or Poor or I don't know something but I love these rock trolls. They're some of the few uh, bits that I actually listen to all the way through. But I'll skip that, you don't want to see that. Away go witchy go! Chooses pick me! <laughs> um, so, once you've done that, uh, head into the cave. I threw a bomb there by mistake, very foolish. And inside the cave you'll find the other two trolls which the first one mentioned in there. That's it. And have a chat with them. There's two options here. I'll show the fighting at the end, but you can get away with a peaceful uh, escape here. There we are. Uh, and it turns out to be Thaler, Tala, Thaler, I don't know, whatever it is, who was in The Witcher 2, I guess. I don't know. I played The Witcher 1 and 2, but I don't really remember them. Um, I end up getting a bit bored with all the exposition, so I end up skipping quite a lot of it. But anyway, carry on through here. Uh, and you will find. Uh, some chests which are definitely worth looting. Have a dig around there, there's lots of goodies in there. Then you've just got to walk with Thaler all the way back. He walks pretty slowly, uh, so you can't run, he won't run with you. Um, but when you get back to the cobblestone cart, which I'll skip ahead to da -dum, now, there we are, uh, the mission will wrap up there. So that's pretty much it. Um, basically, the pickup is a bit weird, you've got to go through into that back. Uh, they said that this patch would fix it, but it didn't appear to. If you want to fight the trolls, I recommend uh, taking some Ogroid oil in advance, because you can't activate it once the fight's on. I've only got regular Ogroid oil, so an extra 10% isn't going to make that much of a difference. And I took a Wyvern decoction, uh, because it increases damage uh, dealt as long as you're not taking damage, which is pretty cool um, and pretty useful. These trolls are pretty slow. It took me three goes to kill them. Uh, I skipped the first two. But pick the yellow option and you'll get to fight them. The other one will pop in, so there's now three trolls here. Uh, use Quen, I would recommend. And if you hit them in the stomach, it will interrupt their attacks. You'll see there. So you can take them face on, but obviously you're not going to be doing a lot of damage. If you can get behind them and do critical hits, it's obviously better. But the first two I tried critical hits um, and just ended up getting wasted. Watch out for the rock throws. Uh, watch out for them smashing you in the face. They've got a similar attack pattern to golems. Uh, they'll do an area of attack, like a bang to the ground, which will do damage all around them. There's that dude on the left just there doing one. They'll jump forward like that, and uh, this was the third go, and I'd forgotten to activate the decoction, so just putting it on there. 
Uh, and they will also do like a runny thing where they do three or four attacks in a row. And if you haven't got Quen up, they're going to hit you really hard. Um, you'll lose a good healthy chunk of your health. You see there a reverse attack. I've also got Enhanced Thunderbolt down there at the bottom. You'll see three out of four. Uh, I just activated it to do a bit more damage. Um, Quen's still up, but again, hitting them in the stomach uh, is a good plan. Try and pick one off if you can, just target one and whittle him down, because obviously having less to attack, I've got caught in the corner there and freaked out a bit. You see there, they do take off a big whack of health when they hit. Um, I think my armor's at like 220, 230, I've got the feline gear and the enhanced griffin armor, for the most part. Uh, most part feline, but then yeah, the enhanced griffin as well. Two left now, uh, so again, just hit him in the stomach, that'll keep him stunned. You get three or four quick hits, and there's a rock. Uh, before they'll block it and it'll blow your shield if you overcook it. Uh, uh, one more hit to him and he's down. And then just this guy left. And at this point I probably should have switched to, like, Axie, is it? The mind control one, seeing if that worked. But on these big fights I tend just to stick with Gwen. Uh, the shield is the safest option. Um, I've powered up my Igni pretty hard. Uh, but, uh, yeah. I didn't think it was going to do much damage on that. I was also at Comic-Con um, for one of the companies I'm doing some work for and saw the most amazing Geralt um, outfit. There's a whole bunch of Blizzards of the, uh, Blizzard of the Storm, Heroes of the Storm, Blizzard uh, cosplay there as well, which was pretty awesome. Some amazing outfits, obviously. I don't know if you've ever been to Comic-Con. Go. It's cheap, actually. I was surprised how cheap. Like £25? Um, but the this is the first point at which I'd found a cave troll liver. Uh, which you need for the enhanced relic oil. So if you need that, it's not a bad place to pick it up either. Um, yeah. Anyway. So uh, that's that. That's how to get around that glitch. That's the fight. Not too difficult. Um, on the left, Life is Strange. I know I've still got to finish that up. And on the right, Heroes of the Storm, Tassadar. Uh, but don't click those. Click the eye on the top right, because it works if you're on mobile too. <laughs> anyway, that's it for now. I'll see you in the next video. Love, bye!